Hey guys, it's I am iPod Man 69. Today I'm going to show you guys how to mod your iPod. Um, this does not work for any of the, or it works for the first and second generation Nano. Just about every single other iPod that has a screen, except for you know not the iPod Touch or iPhone because you know you can just jailbreak, and you can check my channel out for stuff on that. But anyways, it and if your iPod looks like this you see that um, does not work because it's kind of stupid because they in like cryptid the newer versions of it but anyways I'm going to show you guys how to mod it so I will have every, all the links in the description but first I'm going to show you guys Rockbox oh, my cursor is flashing don't know why. And go to rockbox.org. Um, the rockbox.org looks a little bit better, but I think that the iPod Linux, um, I don't know, it, I haven't actually seen all the stuff the iPod Linux has, but this looks, I mean, I, I recommend rock. But anyways, what you want to do is, there's the manual installation, you can click on current build, find yours, and then download it and put it into your thing, or you can just get the automatic downloader for one of your systems, mine's Windows, you click on that, and you'll get a folder like this, eventually you have to like, uh, do a few things to your or you have to extract it and all that crap. Anyways, you open it up, click yes, and it will have some stuff right here on, like it'll come up with this. You click your iPod, they have Nano, they have Mini, both Minis, um, Video Color, iPod, all the way up to fourth generation and then you click also you have to have your iPod into disk mode and how to do that is you go you, you open up your here I'm just gonna pop. well you either you either go into iTunes and click enable disk mode or what you do is you go to your iPod, hold that button in the center button until it'll go to that screen. And then you hold the down in the center button. Wait a second. Um, let me try it again. Must not be working. Uh, but just go into iTunes and click on enable disk use in there. Pretty simple. Proxy, I don't know exactly. I mean, they have the uh, language and catch and all that other crap you need. And then once you do that, there's different um, things you can do. You can do the quick start, do the complete installation, installs the bootloader, installs Rockbox on your iPod, you know, the manual installation on there, and then this installs the bootloader so it can load up the Rockbox. And it also it adds all the extra packages, you know, they got games. They got themes, they got font packages, and then I think it installs all these too. And then you can uninstall it there, download uh, that, and yeah. So that there's Rockbox. Now for iPod Linux, I would I would suggest go to this link first, the one hot. Why did I click that? 
Okay, so anyways, you click on and click paste, enter. Um, don't download it from this site because all it gives you is some just a blank file and it wants you to like find it. But the only reason I put this in the description is it has all of the um, thing, all of the uh, what is it called? Oh, requirements you have to have. This doesn't even work for any video or fifth generation video iPods or Nanos. Yeah. So what you do is I have a Mediafire link. Just download that folder and extract it. You get this folder right here. Click on Installer Extension. Extension. Click Next. If you have your iPod plugged in, disc mode, and everything, it will work. And then from there you just keep going so that's how you do this um, like I said it has to have be on disk mode and I think these are really cool mods I hope that someday that they make one for the nano third generation higher but I'm not guaranteeing anything since they can't get past the encryption but anyways comment rate subscribe and I'll see you guys later